This has been a week of comings and goings, but we'll get into the details later. The team from Peninsula Glass have invested a lot of time and effort into the southwest corner. In closing two sides in a set of large external frames. The delivery of smaller components doesn't always rely on sophisticated mechanical assistance. Just along the west wall, members of the team from Thermodesign Installation were preparing areas that will receive wall panels. Here, an impermeable membrane on which the panel will sit is being installed. The iron workers of Structur de Bos started the day working on the roof and then by afternoon were busy installing final components on the steel structure. There was a substantial hint that their time on site may be drawing to a close when they outloaded two platforms they've been using and their very versatile forklift. Wednesday began with SDB continuing work on the edges of the steel structure. Besides all the other small finishing tasks, they even managed to find a few more roof panels to place. And in the southwest corner, Peninsula Glass continued their preparations for installation. Preparations to receive the wall panels continued in a similar fashion. The afternoon delivery, unloading and placement of a large consignment of wooden mats undoubtedly advanced this work. The machine employed for unloading didn't stay for very long. The reason for preparations last week for work on the roof became very clear as a team from Gravity Plumbing and Heating began to work on components of the roof infrastructure. Thursday saw significant advances on the walls. Insulating panels that will lie behind the glass at the southwest corner were installed by Peninsula Glass. By day's end, both sides would be complete. Substantial progress was evident on the roof, too. Of course, reading the plans on a tablet in the bright sunshine on the roof is not the easiest thing. Thursday's arrival of three rented scissor lifts led to immediate speculation about whom they might be supporting. The answer would come on Friday. The strong suspicion was that they would support TDI in the installation of wall panels. Placement of the wooden mats on which they could run lent credence to this idea. Follow on to find out. Friday saw substantial work performed on the roof. It's beginning to become clear that any fixtures and fittings will be situated before roofing material is laid. And there's no shortage of them.
back at ground level, TDI continue their work on preparation to install the panels. And inside the structure, we discover just who's using those skyjacks. It makes complete sense to see the craft electricians from O'Connor Electric using them to access the roof space in pursuit of their tasks. Their critical contribution is often overlooked. Be sure you don't overlook next week's update, and thanks for watching.